screw it, I just remember not to focus one minute one. Here we go. With the hair. Alrighty. So, Margot Robbie is going to be ruining the Birds of Prey movie. We've all can pretty much noticed that. And now her dumb ass is going to take over Tank Girl. Thanks, bitch. Why couldn't somebody who actually gives a shit about this stuff do it? Why does it have to be some SJW moron who doesn't give a shit about anything except pushing their agenda? In fact, you know what? I'm gonna go for a remake Robocop now. Oh wait, they've already fucked that up. Oh, too late. Oh well, my bad. Anyway, I'll get to what I'm wearing later. It's another video. Probably guess that subject. So from what I understand, Margot Robbie now owns the rights to make the film adaptation or at least, you know, she's acquired the rights, whatever the fuck you call it, to make the next Robocop movie. Aren't we all just looking forward to that? <laughs> oh, fuck my life. Anyway, so yes, a complete moron who doesn't give a shit about the source material is gonna take it and fuck it up like she's doing with Birds of Prey. You've all seen the latest photo with the stupid-ass Tweety Bird shit. <sighs> Making every last villain and hero look like a dumbass. Including my personal favorite, um, Huntress. What the fuck? They put the purple back on her, give her the little domino, give her the little mask. Let her be fucking Huntress. Margo, if you don't want, if you don't want to wear this because it's too male gaze, then don't make the fucking movie. Just fuck off. By the way, it's, it's funny because it... it in your Golden Globe Awards and shit, you wear shit where your fucking nipples are pointing in the damn dress and it's all tight and shit. You got no problem with an L gay there. You got no problem with doing Wolf of Wall Street, but something where you could actually make some fucking money, you gotta be a little asshole. I don't get it. Why are you wasting everyone's fucking time with this bullshit? If you don't want to make the movie, then don't. It, are you just trying to get free money out of this? Are you wasting our fucking time? Nobody's gonna go see this. No one cares. If they do, it's to watch the train wreck. You are taking a beloved character that you one time did okay in a group ensemble and fucking it up. You are not Ryan Reynolds. You are not... I can get to throw a myriad of people who know what the fuck they're doing and none of them are named fucking Margot Robbie. And I'm sure she was fine in uh, the Quentin Tarantino movie, which I'll rent one day when it... Gotta get around to it. I got. I still gotta get Spider-Man Far From Home. I haven't seen it yet. But I will. I know what happens. I just haven't seen the actual physical movie. And yes, I'm wearing this thing. That It's not... It, it's for the bit later. The, the whole costume has to do with that. And no, I'm not dressing up like uh, Natasha or any of the Black Widows. This is not an assassin. The blade part is... Not even relevant to what I'm doing with it. But, you know, I was like, fuck it. For, for the money I paid for this, it fits for what I need, and it was very hard for what I want to get, because that's going to represent, like, the shocker's gone. I can tell there. Anyway, Margo. Every set photo that has surfaced has made me lose more confidence in this thing. Every fucking thing you have said has proven you don't know what the fuck you're doing, and you're advertising to an audience that doesn't exist. The only reason... Captain Marvel made a dime is because it was connected to the Marvel Universe and people thought it would have something to do with Avengers Endgame. And when they found out it had dick all to do with it, and she had dick all to do with it, people didn't rent the movie. I know, shocker. The DVD sales are in the... And people are saying, well, DVDs are all well, yeah. No, they're not. 
I know. I went to Walmart. The shelves were pretty much fucking empty. So kiss my ass. So I don't know where the fuck y'all are finding all these things. And then when they show it, they show it where they'll shoot. See, like a few of Alita pushed up front. Like there'll be one or two, and then there'll be like a thousand. Because, yeah, I know how a fucking DVD case works, folks. And I can count the number of the things pushed. I can see when two are pushed up forward to look like it's full, because that's how you're supposed to do it in that particular job. And when it's legitimately full to the brim. And those, and those images online that I've seen, the Captain Marvel thing is just chock-a-block full. And <laughs> the Alita, well, it had one or two up front, so nice try. <sighs> Forgive the cursing, I don't know. I, I curse a lot, so fuck it. <laughs> This is never going to be the kid-friendly channel. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but why Tank Girl? It, 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 it's beloved by Is it because we said it was an actual female fucking lead movie that did well before all this other idiots started to fuck shit up? He said, I need to fuck this shit up. When we said, uh, it was the one of you that weren't fucked up. Margo, did you say, hold my fucking beer? I need to go fuck this? <sighs> no. No, girl. No. Sit, sit, sit your ass down. The Mel Gazy thing doesn't work when you fucking start your career being buck ass naked. You started on Wolf of Wall Street. And then, then you walked around in the Suicide Squad movie with your butt cheeks hanging out. Now all of a sudden you miss, I don't want to sit Mel Gazy. Mm. Again. Then wear this. Wear the actual costume. Or shut the fuck up. Oh wait, wait, wait. There, there's there's facial skin showing. <gasps> Scandal. Anyway. Uh, Y'all just basically went in. How many fucking SJW check marks can we make to make this movie? Because the whole thing is just that. And, and consider who's telling you this that you're full of shit. You really point something out to you, girl. <laughs> That's all you're doing. You're fucking going down the checklist. You haven't made a movie. You've made a checklist. And it's not an interesting checklist. It's a boring, pointless, repetitive, who gives a fuck checklist. Anyway, done. Bye.